So tell What's me. What's cracking you, Chip? Is the earth flat? You went on a podcast and you said the earth, you believe the earth was flat. But on that podcast, I was just really like, man, what's going on within our world? And just a whole bunch of truth and conspiracy. I was just like, whoa, this is too much for me. And then I come out and say that. And then, whoo. Whenever people are first exposed to the flat earth, a typical knee-jerk response is that he or she saw the curvature of the earth from an airplane. A good friend of mine refused to investigate the flat earth based solely on that reason that he allegedly saw the curvature of the earth while flying in the Concorde many years ago. However, what my friend thought was the curvature of the earth was likely a psychological effect from indoctrination or an optical illusion caused by a curved airplane window like you obviously see here. For others, they see a picture of something like Felix Baumgartner over planet New Mexico and assume that this is the curvature of the earth when this was only photographed with a wide-angle lens, creating the illusion of curvature. Similar wide-angle lens propaganda photos appear all over the internet to convince you to believe in a globe when these claims are patently false. You have probably seen hundreds of these phony curvature images in your life. I found that disturbing in my Flat Earth investigation. But no one you know has actually seen the curvature of the Earth, and that should make you a bit skeptical of the globe. Here is official storyteller Neil deGrasse Tyson saying that you can't see the curvature of the Earth at over 280,000 feet. By the way, you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you. Do you know how high up above the Earth he was? No. So if you take a 63 globe, miles. So take a schoolroom globe and ask how high above it is he? So he's about two millimeters above the surface of a schoolroom globe. Mm, so nobody has seen the curvature of the earth from that height. Just I just want to make that clear. Okay. okay. I guess Neil is out there trying to lower expectations and explain why videos like this one aren't showing the expected curvature, but only show a flat and stationary earth. I say stationary because when you really think about it, the Earth should be spinning underneath this extreme high-altitude balloon at a thousand miles per hour. Do you really think 
the atmosphere is attached like Velcro to the Earth, and the air at 121,000 feet is actually spinning faster than 1,000 miles per hour to keep up with the ground below it. You know, no. The globe claim is just silly. Obviously, the Earth is stationary. As I have shown multiple times with lasers and high zoom cameras and high altitude balloons prove the Earth is flat at even extreme altitudes, all in total contradiction to the globe narrative. No curvature down here, no curvature up there. I agree. means there is no curvature anywhere. You truly live on a flat and stationary Earth. That is so nobody has seen the curvature of the Earth from that height. Just, yeah. I just want to make that clear, okay? okay? Now, how does Jeff Bezos top this? What can he do? To <laughs> your papa. That's what's going on. Having a good day as always. And as I always say, That stuff is flat. That stuff is flat. That stuff is flat.